this video i am going to explain r a l p to add first 10 integer numbers i am showing the demo of keel 4 microvision tool for uh, rm lpc 2148 microcontroller so open the keel tool keel 4 i am opening the keel 4 so if any program is there you have to stop debug and you can remove the old program. Right click and remove the old program. So once you open the key, okay, then you'll get uh, like this. You have to create a new project. Okay. Then type project one dot uh, microvision project. If it is press it or you can give different name next in the search for select device for target you have to select lpc 2148 click ok then click uh, copy startup file no need then click plus button in the project window right click here and uh, you have to click new file ASM file and you can type uh, some name. Okay, I am adding uh, first 10 integer now. You can give first 10 integer 10 int like that. You can give now. You have to type the program. So uh, I already copied the program and typed here. So you can write a semicolon and you can write a program to add first 10 integer number. Okay, so TTL means title. Okay, can. Uh, Title of the program is adding first 10 integer, and you have to write add a name of the code area. So, we are writing a code area. You can give the area, the name of the area, you can give addition, or you can give uh, add 10 ints, any name you can give, and you have to give space, which is very, very important. If you type continuous without giving any space at the compile build target, it will give error. So you have to give at least one character space in the beginning. I had given one tab, I pressed the tab, so it came here. And it is a code memory, so you have to write a comma and it is a read only. So area, after area, no comma, you have to give area name, comma, then code you have to write, comma, then you have to indicate it is a read only. Next, you have to write entry. Okay. So move or not with the 10 because we have to add 10 integer. So don't type 0x. So just type uh, 10 means decimal 10. Okay. It is a decimal. No, don't write 0x. Okay. If you write 0x, you have to write 0a. 0x, 0a. Otherwise, without writing a x, we write directly 10 in decimal. Okay. So it is decimal 10, not hexadecimal. Next, because we have to add first 10 integers. Next, move R1 is 0. Initially, uh, R1 is actually holds the sum value. So, initially, sum is equal to 0. Next, loop. Okay. Is a loop is a label. Loop is a label. Add R1, comma R0. So, destination is R1. And source is r0 and r1 so r1 content will be added with r0 and answer again one of the source operand acts as a destination also so r1 acts as source as well as destination the sum again it will store initially sum is equal to 0 r1 is actually holding the sum now r1 is updated with we added r0 10 that 10 also added with uh, r1 now the updated value of r1 is 10 decimal 10 after that we have to write we have to subtract uh, this uh, r naught by 1 because we have to add uh, we are adding 10 plus 9 plus so uh, you can add 10 plus 9 plus or you can add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 10 so here I am, we are doing reverse okay 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus so this will be continuing last up to it is 1 okay so now we have to subtract r naught by 1 r naught is equal to r naught minus 1 if r naught is not equal to 0, that is BNE means branch if not equal, that is if 0 flag is not equal 
okay if zero plus is not equal to one jump or branch to label loop okay again in the uh, loop again add r1 with the decremented value of r0 first we added 0 plus 10 now we are adding decremented value of r0 so 10 plus 9 next again decrement uh, r0 again decrement so this will repeat until r0 is equal to 0 once it reaches 0 it will come out of that and you can check the answer in where your answer your answer in r1 you can check the answer in r1 register only or if you want to store it in some memory location, we declared one more area. Area name is result. It is a data memory and it is a read write. You can write something into the any variable declared here. We declared some DC to define constant data and initially it is zero. We have to get the address of this sum where the sum is present. Okay. So load R2. LDR stands for LD stands for load R means register. Load register R2 is equal to some means it will get the address of this variable which is declared in the data area which is read write you can do read as well as write after getting the address of sum into r2 register we can store where your answer is present sum is present in r1 every time it is adding r1 with r0 and it is updated to r1 so from r1 store r1 content okay so meaning of this one is store R1 content to address specified by by R2. In R2 we have some address, right? In R2 we have some address. R2 is loaded with some address. Address of variable sum. Which is declared in data area and that area name is result. Okay. So now by target and zero warning. See here if you miss that uh, any all the keywords which are in blue color, you have to give at least one space. If I forget to give space here, for example, here see if you build target, so many so at least one space you have to give. See out remembering is easy all the blue color minimum one space you have to give black color no okay so build target zero. now you have to start debug you have to answer in the register itself you can see pointer is you, to, uh, you are debugging it is going to execute this line step by step you can execute so i'm executing step over f10 button you can also press f10 button in the computer so move or not with the uh, 10 see decimal 10 is this but in the register it is storing 0 a hexadecimal okay hexadecimal it is in hexadecimal a is equal to a is equal to a. a is equal to in decimal, all clear have to click on minute. In decimal, 10 is equal to playing with something, it's one minute. Fourth option is base n. In decimal, 10 is equal to how much in hexadecimal? It is a. So that a is actually storing there. Okay. Decimal 10 is equal to decimal 10 is equal to hexadecimal a. It is storing a here. After that, we have to load uh, initially sum is equal to 0. We are loading in R1. R1 is already 0, so it is not highlighted. So now add R1 comma R0. Okay, 0 is added with 0 is added with A. We will get A only. Okay, 
After that, subtract R0 by 1. From 10, it becomes 9. R1 is A sum. Again, if it is not equal, check the current program status register. 0 flag is not set to 1. So if it is not equal to 1, go back to branch to label loop. Loop is here, line number 6. So you can see it came here. Again, add R1 with R0. R1 is C, the register. R1 is A. A plus 9. So A plus 9. A plus 9. You should get 13 in the R1. See, 13 is coming. Again, subtract R1. It becomes 8 now. First it is 10. Now after decrement 9, now it is decremented 8. If it is not equal to 0, again go back. Once again add. So this will repeat 10 times. Okay. See we added 10 plus answer plus 9. Okay. Next answer plus 8. Plus answer plus 7. Answer plus 6. Answer plus 5. Okay. We will get 2D. Plus 4. Plus 3, plus 2, plus 1. So, answer is what? 37. 37 hexadecimal should come. Okay. So, you can see now once R2 be R0 becomes R1, uh, R0 becomes 0, immediately Z plug is going to set to 1. 3, 2, 1. Now it is 36. Now this is also added and it becomes 37. After that, R0 becomes 0 and immediately Z flag is set to 1. Only if it is not equal, it will go to the label loop. Now it is going to the uh, next instruction which is load R2 with the address of sum. What is the address of sum? See, in uh, R2, that address will come. In R2, address is 0x4000. So open the memory window. View memory window one. Okay. View if it is not coming, it's two times. Okay. So here you have to type zero x four seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So by default it is zero 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 is there. So here the answer should come. So store R1 to this. R1 value is 37 that will come to here. See, it is coming here. 37 is the answer. You can verify the answer in the register R1. Else, you can check in the store the answer here. You can see sum of n numbers is equal to sum of uh, in decimal how much it is. So I will show you. In the decimal, I will go to the decimal mode. Okay. 1 plus sum of n numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10 is 55 okay 55 is the answer so if you want you can check the right click and change it to decimal right click and you can check the answer as 55 this is decimal answer in hexadecimal answer is 37 okay thank you